Okay, I will continue. Be quiet. Jesus rebuked the man who had an unclean demon. Be quiet and come out of him. Just simply, Jesus rebuked him with the commandment. Yes, we have to have this kind of authority over the unclean spirit and uh, over the those who are suffer from sickness. When we have faith, and then it will be done according to our faith through our uh, confessing. And so through the word of God, uh, the word coming out of our mouth. So be quiet and come out of him. The Jesus rebuked and then come giving, gave a commandment to the uh, unclean spirit and demon. And when the demon had thrown him down, when the demon heard the commandment of Jesus, demon had thrown the man down in the midst of the paper and the demon came out of them out of him without doing him any harm mostly the we have uh, uh, seen this kind of uh, episode from the other uh, part of gospel book of gospel the most demon the uh, harm the person uh, that he dwell in mostly, like the, he cast the, the person into, because he controlled the person. He was in the person and then he controlled. So the person cannot control his, himself because he was caught and he was governed by the evil spirit and clean spirit. At the time, he was coordinated by the evil intention and then he cast himself into the fire or he uh, jumped into the water without his uh, uh, intention, but by the, the intention of unclean spirit. But this time, the devil, the demon, just came out of him without doing him any harm. Yeah. And amazement came upon them all. And okay. they began talking with one another, saying, what is this message? For with authority and power, he command the unclean spirit and they come out. Yes, amazement came upon the people of Kavanaugh. Yes, just to talk about ourselves, when we see this kind of uh, the, uh, marvelous uh, things in before our eyes, uh, yeah, we are also caught in this kind of amazement, right? So they began talk talking with one another. What is this message? What is this doctrine? What is this way? What is this? Yeah. For with the authority and power, he command and clean spirit and they come out. Yes. When we share the word of God, we should have this kind of authority and power because God's word is the truth. God's word has power and authority. When we uh, mm -hmm. share, when the word of God comes out of our mouth, that means authority and power comes out of our mouth. That has a uh, effect, people and effect people's spirit, heart condition. Yes, mm -hmm. so we have to 
uh, request uh, of God that we may have that kind of power and authority when we share the word of God. Then people will be healed. People will be encouraged when like they are in our message. And the report. Austin muted. I I learned how to handle the the old people, music, but I forgot. What happened, Tara? Uh, how to handle the. The all the paper would uh, mm, yes okay I tried to make them on mute mm, yeah uh I okay I tried okay yes I tried okay I I will share the screen now okay. And uh, the the report about him was spreading in every locality and the surrounding districts. Yes, when we uh, find out something good or bad in our town, so we. Uh, uh, the willingly and uh, have a heart to share the kind of uh, wonderful news to those around us, right? So the report uh, about Jesus was uh, spreading in every college. Yes. Then Jesus got up and left the synagogue and entered Simon Simon's home. Now, Simon's mother-in-law was uh, suffering from a uh, high fever and they asked him to help her. Yes, after Jesus revoked the unclean spirit and cast out the kind of unclean spirit, and then he got up from the synagogue and he yeah, entered the Simon Simon's home, the Peter's, yeah. Simon Peter's home. Now Simon's mother-in-law was suffering from a high fever. Yes, we are also suffering from all kinds of the difficulties, yeah, or diseases. But when we have a fine time to ask Jesus or ask God to help us, then they also ask. Jesus to help her. Then, standing over her, Jesus lived the fever, and he left it left her, and she immediately got up and waited on them. Yeah, Jesus standing over her. That means over means it has the authority over her. Yeah, standing over the people who has a suffer. Yes, sometimes we can, uh, in a low position, we with a, a reverence heart, we also humble heart. We can help other people, but the when we rebuked. The disease or the spirit, unclean spirit, then we have to stand firm over that kind of fever and disease 
and uh, where is unclean spirit, we should stand over the kind of disease. And we have to rebuke with authority. Then it will live. So he lived the fever and it left her. And she immediately got up. Yeah, when the unclean spirit or when the disease or the fever leave us, then we can immediately get up. Just as Jesus stand over the all kind of disease and with authority, like this, we can also get up and we can work like the, the uh, Simon's mother-in-law. She waited on them. It means she served you know, the people who visit her house. Yes, when we are healed, then immediately we should get up and we have to wait on the people. Yes, who need to be with the uh, help to or serve by us. So you have, uh, if you have a prayer request to be healed from your illness, then you also command over yourself, I have confidence. God's word has power and authority to cast out this kind of illness from me. Then I will be able to stand and get up and stand, and I will be able to wait on the church and wait on God and wait on God's word. You have to confess like this. You are, we should not be. We're overwhelmed by the power of darkness. Yes, always uh, the devil has uh, uh, the time and then seeking to hook and make us fall. So we have to uh, listen and we have uh, the time to ask for God's help. And then with the confidence, when you have confidence on God's message, then you can also proclaim uh, upon yourself, upon your the illness, and you can give a command, get out of me, depart from me, because I want to serve. I want to wait on God. You compass like this and then stand over the kind of illness with authority. Then we will be able to uh, be used by God immediately. Yes. While the sun was setting, all those who had any who were sick with the various diseases brought them to him and laying his hands on each one of them, he was uh, uh, healing them. Very gracious uh, first, right? Yeah, when the sun was setting, all those, yeah, those, the people in that district heard the news that uh, Jesus came to this town and he is uh, giving the healing ministry right now. So they, when they heard the, all those who had any who were sick with the various diseases brought them to him. Yes, this uh, is uh, our law, I think. Because uh, uh, around us, so many people has uh, difficulties 
spiritually, mentally, and physically, and financially. So those kind of people who have difficulties, the friends or family or kindred, uh, bring them to Jesus. Yes, we should uh, bring those kind of people who has the Dave Curtis to Jesus, to church, to the Word of God. We this is our role. This is uh, 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 with the kindness. This is the love toward the neighbor. And laying his hands on each one of them. Yeah. Jesus lay his hands on each one of them. Yeah, this is very graceful message. God did not ignore the multitude, but he laid his hands on each one of them. So many people brought his friends and family members with various diseases to him, but Jesus did not ignore them. Instead of he gave his generous heart and the kindness and the love and passion and compassion on each one of them. Yes, so we will also, each one of us will be touched by Jesus with his word. Yes, he was a healing. Yeah, he will heal us by laying his hand on each one of us. Yes, we have that kind of hope. That's why we can invite our friends to the church and to God's uh, gospel message. So all of them, each one of them will be touched and healed by Jesus, by God's grace. Demon also coming out of many shouted, you are the son of God. By rebuking them, he would not allow them to speak because they knew him to be the Christ. Yes, even demon knew that Jesus are the son of God. He is the Christ. But how much more? Yes. <laughs> it is not easy for us to confess you are the son of God. Jesus, you are the son of God. Is it hard? Yes, it is hard. It is not easy. Yeah. Until I confess like this, yeah, it took a long time. Yes. Uh, when I understood, uh, make my understood with the God's word, and finally, ah, Jesus is the Son of God. Even though I believe in God, but I cannot have confidence and the knowledge of the accepting Jesus as the Son of God. It is hard for me to accept, but after several years, so when uh, I started to read the Word of God, I got to know and then make a puzzle of Jesus and then from the uh, generation to revelation and then from cover to cover. I read the Bible several times, got slowly, 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 make a big picture about Jesus, who he is. God enlightened my eyes and uh, granted me to know who Jesus is. Yes, Jesus is the Son of God. Yes, his anointed one, his uh, holy one, and uh, his uh, Christ. Yes, he is Christ. Now, 
I can boldly confess. I can preach. Jesus is the Son of Yeah. Not firstly, is a willingly. Willingly, we will be able to confess because the Holy Spirit let us know what the truth is. Yes, that is not the humanic ways we cannot confess. Yes, it is impossible, but only by the help of the Holy Spirit we can naturally confess Jesus is the Son of God. So check yourself. What stage are you in of your faith and then your knowledge of God? If you for sure of the kind of full knowledge of God, keep continuously reading the word of God. Then God will surely open and then enlighten your spirit that you may know the truth. When they came, Jesus left and went to a secluded place and the clouds were searching for him and came to him and tried to keep him from going away from them. Yes, this is a very meaningful verse. When, while uh, the sun was setting, Jesus uh, healed. Yes, but when they came, what did Jesus do? Yes, Jesus left and went to a secluded place. Yes, uh, it's a lonely place. We have to make and search this kind of secluded place for us, for myself, to meet God alone. Uh, uh, any other person uh, cannot annoy the, the meeting time of God. Only you have to set apart your time and your heart and uh, your place for the communion of God. That is a secluded place. Jesus gave us wonderful example how to communicate with God. Yeah. Oh, people, you should be get out of the kind of a multitude and the worldly things and the, the human relationship. You set apart from the kind of relationship of men. Instead of the kind of relationship of them, you should set apart your precious time and your precious heart with only God. That Jesus, that's why Jesus left and went to a secluded place. Yeah, do you have a secluded place? Do you have a secluded time? Yes, we absolutely need yeah and the cloud were searching for him yeah always clouds were searching for him why they uh, want to be uh, comforted by Jesus and they want to be supplied by Jesus yeah and they the multitude uh, came to him and try to keep him from going away from them. Yeah, people, people are always selfish. People are always seeking their benefit, their own credit and interest. So they wanted to keep Jesus uh, to staying, to stay with themselves alone. They do not want to share Jesus with the other people in the other province. Yeah, so service. they want to uh, 
enjoy the richness of Jesus within themselves instead of sharing Jesus with other people. But Jesus, just as Jesus in a secret place, in a secluded place, he has a wonderful time. He had a wonderful time with God. And then he also uh, received God's message. And then this uh, God's will from the human uh, purpose. So uh, through the kind of a secluded sharing uh, with God. And then uh, he listened all the situation so he responded like this but jesus he said to them i must preach the kingdom of god to the other cities also but i was sent for this purpose amen yes jesus says to the people who are selfish to make jesus stay in their town but Jesus said like this, I must preach the kingdom of God. Yes. The, yeah. The, when? Where? To the other cities. Yes. Also. Yeah. For I was sent for this purpose. What was the purpose of Jesus coming into the world? Yeah. He was sent to preach the kingdom of God to all the people. Not to the chosen person, chosen people, chosen nation. No. He was uh, he was coming to preach the kingdom of God to all the people, all the nations. Yeah. He exactly knew that what was the purpose of his life is was yes we have to think about the purpose of our lives why why we were born in this uh, yeah time in this era in this land why you were born in pakistan why carl was born in korea why we are living in this uh, era oh, when we can use the wonderful channel of zoom through internet isn't it wonderful? Yes. For a good purpose of sharing the kingdom of God, sharing the message of God, the gospel to the people, to other cities. Yeah, just as Shaman shared, the, the church expanded, is expanded to other cities to affect, to affect many people. Just like this, you are sent, you are sent by God. You are being sent by God. For what? Yes, to preach the kingdom of God. There is no other reason. Jesus coming is to preach the word of God to as people, as many as people. And we are also being sent for this purpose. To the people, Amen. yeah, to the family members, to the neighbors, and to friends, yes, to other cities. Yeah, thank God. Amen. Yeah. Oh. So, so he <laughs> kept on preaching in the synagogue of <laughs> Zuria. Yes. So Amen. Jesus kept on preaching in the synagogue of Zuria. You, where? was Jesus. Yeah, he was, uh, his his uh, ministry was started uh, from the river of Jordan when he was baptized and he was uh, uh, sent to do in the wilderness. He was uh, tempted after he passed the temptation of the devil. He visited uh, Galilee and then again the the town of his hometown, Nazareth, and uh, he moved to the Capernaum, and now he is uh, moving to the Judea. Yes, he kept on preaching. He kept on preaching. 
how can you do and follow the Jesus footstep? Yeah, we should keep on preaching in the synagogues of Judea. So the shaman's ministry and then your the shaman's church's leaders are doing uh, this kind of work. It's wonderfully. You are used by God wonderfully. Yes, thank God. And then uh, chapter Luke 5. And then uh, this part 2 oh, we will share next week and then we, right. we, yeah, with better yeah, stuff here and then um, uh, uh, let's pray first and before we share Heavenly Father, thank you for the wonderful message. Yes. Jesus read uh, the uh, scroll, the part of the book of uh, Isaiah, when he was uh, returned from baptism. Yes, I was uh, sent to preach the good news to the poor, yes, to proclaim the least to the oppressed, the captive, and then uh, release and uh, recover, recover of sight to the blind. Yes, Lord. We are blinded in knowing you, but you enlighten us that way we may see the truth. You gave us Bible that we may know who you are through reading the word of God. Yes, Lord. When we share the word of God through this Bible school, you are touching us you are molding us that we may know that we may realize what the purpose of our lives are yes lord to preach to share the word of god we should keep on the preaching to the other cities, to the people who do not know who Jesus is. Yes, Lord. Jesus is sent to preach the word of God. Let us be uh, uh, like Jesus. We want to be used by God for this purpose. Yes, Lord. Thank you for giving us wonderful time of this kind of Bible study, yes, Lord, through Zoom, without limitation of uh, place and time. Yes, Lord, giving thanks and glory, all honor to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, thank amen. God. Thank God, thank God. Oh. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, Kara. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. After, yes, uh, can can you please on your cameras and sh we should have some sort of reflection time actually. Mm -hmm. So, yes, uh, Shumer is here. Shumer, say hello. Yes. Hello, Shumer. Yeah, he's there in the mission center. Austin is also here. So, that's great. Sajda, are you here? Sarah? Mm -hmm. Yes, Jessica or Shaquille is here, Ellen, Evangeline, and Shaquille, Roxana, Akhtar. Yes. Hello, so brother. Just... How are you? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Hello, Fine. sister Kara. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, sister. Today I have joined and your class late. I was in travel. Uh, sorry, sorry for really sorry. Hi. And uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank I have missed your lesson mm -hmm. and your message. 
Uh, uh, yeah, don't miss next uh, time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I was. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, next time I will care. Uh, mm -hmm. I have joined uh, after uh, fifteen minutes. Mm -hmm. Fifteen minutes. I have leave. Uh, so thank you. And uh, during uh, during class uh, uh, that time, uh, uh, our uh, my internet uh, source poor. <laughs> Uh, it's okay. I understand okay. yours. Thank Sorry, you. this Thank you, uh, mm -hmm. It's okay, Akhtar. I actually, I mean, I was uh, talking to you all of you because I was thinking because uh, uh, I want to involve you actually that how the Lord is working through this class and through this vision school, and because uh, I was also praying for you. Many students are also in the pipeline. They will definitely join. But uh, I want you people uh, that uh, we could have some, maybe we could have some day of Kara's class. Kara is speaking and we are learning. Someday we could have a reflection day of yours so that we can we can listen to your vision, purpose. Now see, Kara has shared that, that the purpose of the uh, Lord Jesus Christ is going preaching everywhere uh, yeah so th therefore I would like to uh, to ask you that if you have any question if you have any difficulties if you have any because we are not rushed to complete the Bible we are we are worried about your spirit real spiritual kind of uh, blessing so uh, that's why that's why I encourage you yes uh, after do you want to say? Yes, I want to say some. Uh, actually, uh, uh, we are learning a lot of things. Uh, Sister Kara is teaching us. And uh, uh, really, uh, God's message uh, for us. And uh, uh, I think uh, 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 whenever uh, Sister Kara uh, uh, teach us a lesson and uh, message of God uh, uh, through us, uh, and uh, I think... Uh, uh, whenever uh, we miss our class uh, on uh, uh, Sister Kara any any time, uh, I think uh, Sister Kara should send us a soft copy of uh, every class after uh, class uh, when will uh, be finish. Yeah, she sends a recording as well. Yeah, yeah, but recording. this day I'm so busy, so I already <laughs> have a record, but I have to edit and then I will upload it later. Sorry, sorry. But I have all so, records thank you. anyway. <laughs> I yeah, yeah, three yeah. weeks. I didn't do. I'm yes. Good, good. I understand. That's fine. Thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Akhtar. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Uh, mm, Austin, we want yes. to say, Ellen, yes, it was your first day. Ellen. And uh, Let's meet in first class, first Zoom <laughs> again. <laughs> we have no time. Oh yes. Okay. Let's uh, let's join uh, for a for a for some short minute uh -huh. in a first Zoom link as well. So because this is less than a one minute, mm -hmm. then we can discuss that how we can have a sharing time. Not mm -hmm. today, maybe, but mm -hmm. next time. Yeah. So if it ends, yeah. so yeah, Shaquille, you want to say something? 